Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Michelle, and here on my channel, I post a new budgeting related video every single Monday. And I'm also a server, so every single Wednesday, I post a new video on what I made that week as a server. And then every single Friday, like today, we are doing uh, cash stuffing for my 300 envelope savings challenge. So if any of that sounds like something you might be interested in, please subscribe so you don't miss when I post a new video. So today, like I said, we are doing my cash stuffing for my savings challenge. So if you didn't see Wednesday's video, go check that out. So like I said, I am a server. So this is um, everything that's left over from my tips from the week. Today is Tuesday as I'm filming this. So it's my Friday. So my week is over. And this is everything that I have left after um, I distributed the money into my budget. So I have $263 here or 64. Let me count. 20. 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, so 240, 250, 255, 256, 257, 258, 259, 260, 261, 262, 263, 264. So I have $264 that I'm going to be adding into my weekly savings challenge. So this challenge right here is 200 envelopes. So it's basically the 100 envelope challenge doubled. So um, there is, in the traditional 100 envelope challenge, you do 100, one through 100. However, I doubled that to two through 200 and I doubled it again. So I have 200 envelopes labeled two through 200. Uh, so there's two twos, two fours, and then up to two 200s. Um, and this one is my 50, and this, uh, this I'm gonna be, my goal is to finish this in 50 weeks. So that means I have to do four envelopes on this one every single week. And then if that, at the end of this, it should give me about $20,000. And if that's not enough, I have the second challenge over here on top of it. Um, and that is the 52 week challenge, but I just evened it to 50 weeks. So it's another 100 envelopes, but the regular one would be um, 50 envelopes labeled one through 50. I did label them one through 50, but I did it twice. So I have two ones, two twos, and so on, all the way up to two fifties. So yeah, this I think should give me about $2,000 at the end of it. But yeah, um, I need to do two of these envelopes every single week and four of these. So six envelopes total. So I have these little trackers here um, that tell me what envelopes I have already filled and what ones I need to fill. So so in the normal envelope challenge, I think they have you pick a number like randomly, but I don't want to do that. I want to do it strategically so I don't end up screwing myself over. So I have my calculator here and I'm going to figure out how I'm going to distribute this money today. So let's see, um, $264. So I have to distribute this in six different envelopes. So I'm going to start with my 100 envelope first. Um, I think I'm gonna do, let's do, hmm, I'll do like a 20, I have a lot of 20s today. Actually, I have two 20s that I can fill, so that will leave me with $224, and then I have to figure out, um, what to do, sorry, I shook the camera, um, with the other four envelopes, 224. Let's see, I could do, I have a lot of, I have a lot, I barely started this challenge, so I have a lot of numbers to pick from here. I'll put these right here so you can look at it with me. Um, let's see, 220. Sorry if you can't really see. I'm on this, like, tiny little desk that I got, like, 10 years ago. It's all jacked up, and it's, yeah, it's just what I have, and it's what I'm working with. So... Well, let's see, 224, I have to do four envelopes. I could do, I'm trying to do a lot of 20s just because, ooh, I have a lot of $20 bills right now. Uh, minus, we'll do like 80. Let's have an 80 in here, where did it go? Up here, I have two 80s, so let's see. That leaves me with $64 and I only need two more envelopes. So I can do smaller numbers. My four is already filled. 
I don't want to go that small. I like to save these tiny numbers for really bad weeks. As you can see, <laughs> I already had a really bad week and had to use all my small numbers. So now the next numbers aren't as tiny, but hopefully I don't have a week as bad as I had that one day um, or that one week. It's because I had a really bad day on that Friday and then the next day I took off. And so I really only worked for, I only made money for like three days out of the week. So it was pretty bad. Um, okay, $64, sorry. Um, should I do like 36? I don't want to do too small of a number because I want to save them for bad weeks. I guess I can do like 36 and then 28. What do you guys think? Because I'm still doing like bigger numbers. I, yeah. And then minus 28. Right? Okay. I think we could do that. So we'll start with my 100 envelope challenge. I'll put this. Uh, so I decided on $20 and $20. So let's go into my envelope. 17, 18, 19, 20, and 20. So I'll fill up my first $20 envelope. These are sealable. They peel and stick. However, um, I want to reuse this challenge and I don't want to torture myself opening it. So I will not be sealing them. I just fold it closed and put them in the opposite direction. These ones are filled. These ones are not. So another $20. So grab a 20 and put it in here. Okay, like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and take my 50-week challenge and cross out both 20s because these are now filled. Sorry, this um, my trackers aren't that pretty. I literally just made them. I wasn't even planning on filming this and showing you guys at all. Um, they were just for me. So, sorry they're not <laughs> super pretty. Um, next up is my $80 ones. Ooh, 82, 80. Okay, perfect. Actually, I have two 80s in here, huh? So let's do 180, and then let's grab the next one. 80, perfect. Okay, so $80, so let's do 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay, 20, 20, 40, 60, 80. Sorry, I have to like count myself, I have to count the money like 20 times because I don't trust myself. I always feel like I'm gonna count it wrong somehow. Okay, so there's $80 in here. And then next we have 80. So 20, 40, 60, 80. Leaves me with $40 here. Okay, let's do it. Make sure 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay, perfect. I know in the normal 100 envelope challenge, $80 is like a big number, but because mine goes all the way up to 200, I feel like $80 is like a smaller number. <laughs> even though it's $80 is not small. Okay, so next is $36. Let's see, 32, 36, perfect. All right, so we have 20, 30, 35, 36. Okay, I will stuff that in the 36 and put that in here. Let me know if you guys like this setup or if you want me to like rearrange anything. Um, I, like I said, I'm just on my desk, my super old desk, and I have this tripod that's sitting in front of my face. Um, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. If there's any changes I need to make, just let me know. Um, so next is 28. So let's go towards the, oh, 30. Where is it? 30. Next would be 28. There we go, 28. Perfect, so I have 20. And then 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Perfect. And that is the last of my money. All right. Oh, this is not going in smoothly. Okay, there we go. I'll put this back here. These are actually getting pretty thick. Okay, so that is all of that. I'm not going to get rid of my numbers just yet because I have to scratch them off. So I did my 50 week. Let's do this next one. So I did 80 and 80. So we'll do, where is it? Right here, 80 and 80. And then I did 36, 36 over here. And I did 28 over here. Okay, so as you can see, the ones that I've crossed off, I already got the two biggest numbers completely done, so that was exciting. Oh, 
hopefully next week I can get some more big numbers. But yes. So next, I have another ugly tracker that was just for myself. I wasn't going to show anyone. Um, this is how many envelopes I am filling. So because this is 50 weeks and it's going to give me like $20,000 at the end of it, I don't really feel comfortable having $20,000 in cash sitting in my room like to be stolen or destroyed or anything. Um, plus, I don't really like want to deposit $20,000 at one time. I think that probably looks pretty sketchy. I don't know. To me, it does. $20,000 in cash depositing, that seems sketchy. So, <laughs> I've decided I'm going to be um, doing this quarterly. So, this is for quarter one. So, 52 envelopes. Once I fill up 52 envelopes, I will unstuff and um, deposit it into a high yield savings account. So, it's also going to be earning money um, while it's sitting in there instead of just sitting in envelopes. Um, so, yeah, 52 and then the next quarter will be 48 and then 52 and then 48 again. Um, this one I am going to wait until the end of it to do it, but this one I'm just going to do it quarterly. So I'm going to do this four times. Um, and so I'm crossing out every time I fill up the envelopes. So I have one, two, three, four. So I have 20 envelopes filled and I'm going to be getting to 52. And after I do that, you can expect an unstuffing video and we'll see how much we saved for the first quarter. But yeah, let me know if you guys like that idea of doing it quarterly. I know a lot of people like to see like massive amounts um, unstuffed in one time. I like watching that when it's like a lot of money. But at the same time, I just don't think that's going to be the best option for me to have it just like sitting here when I could have it in my high yield savings account because I do have a good amount in my high yield savings account right now. So the more money you have, the more money you make on it. So that is what I want to do, but let me know what you guys think. And thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm going to be doing new videos like this. I'm going to be doing these um, weekly cash stuffing videos with you guys every single Friday. So make sure you're subscribed if you like it. Again, every single Wednesday, I'm posting what I make in a week as a server. And then every single Monday, I post my monthly budget. So uh, yeah, make sure you're subscribed. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.